Permaculture really starts with an ethic. Earth care, that's care of the whole systems of Earth and the species. So we actually devise modal systems. Much of the design is drawn from nature. The end result that we aim for is to produce a system that's ecologically sound and economically profitable. It can get as sophisticated or as simple as you like. Hi, I'm Bill Mollison. I sometimes get very sick of bad news. And I think we should always look at things like that and try to turn it into good news. It's really easy to turn things around. In five weeks' time, this will be a nice set of potatoes. And for me, that's good news. In the late 60s, I was protesting social and environmental issues. But by the early 70s, I decided protest wasn't good enough. So I commenced designing gardens and positive design systems for human settlements. If people would only realise that everything they ever needed is right outside their door. All you really need is sun, plants, and keep your eye on the soil. And of course, if you've got plenty of fruit, you've got a lot of friends. This is my garden in the subtropics. From here to the equator, all the fertility is held in plants, not in the soil. Therefore, you have to make an extremely dense plant system. And the mulch and fertilizer we put on is all up in these plants. If we remove the plants, we have an infertile situation. In the tropics, plough agriculture is totally inappropriate for cropping. For a few years we can hold nutrient, perhaps, but then it will go because it's torrential and hot rain. Even the silica leaves the soil. This causes more pollution in the streams, more rapid losses of nutrient, and it would be a very rare crop that we can grow which we get the value of the minerals lost back in the crop. If you produce a system which doesn't destroy basic resources like soil and produces negligible pollution, then you have something that can go on forever and in which people can live in, for an indefinite period without destroying the earth. And that is the ultimate aim. And all, uh, all our sustainable systems achieve that aim.